not one Negro here. Okay. <laughs> like. This is always in the way. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. It's Lanise Ariel and I got hella stuff to do. No, I don't, but I'm back again with another vloggy vlog. Right now I'm heading to my old crib, AKA my parents' house because my sister offered to do my nails. So I'm just going over there so that she can do my nails. I think I'm just gonna do short square because I don't want it to take too long. Also, I have a job where I use my hands a lot, so I don't want my nails to be long. I'm excited to see my sisters because I haven't seen them in like a week or two. I've been missing them a lot, low key. Made it to the old crib. Hold on. Made it to the old crib. Lynette's about to do my nails. Hey, oh, okay. no, I miss when y'all actually like. You know me? When they look mad longer today for some reason. Because right. like the curls went away. They were oh wait, because mine was on twist. Yes, mine. Oh. Yeah. Last time I saw you. Yeah, Someone comment on my video talking about some hair that looks fried. Someone said my hair looks fried. <laughs> And so like, honestly, okay. I could have read them. I could have read that person, but I didn't read that person. First of all, my hair is fried, but at the same time, it doesn't look fried, okay? My hair looks good. Wait, what did they say? What did they say? They said my hair looked fried. No Who said that? <laughs> no So, here's the before of my man. Ooh. Oh my not, not my nails is dirty. Hold on. Can't relate. Girl, girl, how you? Show me the nails. Show me the nails. I'm saying, how did, how did the burn mark? Like, like. How y'all see me? How did the dog show me the nails? Trying to talk, like, girl. Look at my nails. Here's the before. Hey y'all, I made it back to my place. But yeah, I'm just hurrying up, rushing to get ready because I'm low on time. I'm gonna do a little bit of foundation. I'm not gonna do too much. Keep a little light feet. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm done getting ready and I feel like I look so cute. I was really struggling with finding the outfit and I finally found the outfit. So I'm excited. Um, I was like kind of running late, but like I need to leave literally right now because I'm usually always late and I'm trying to be on time this time. Hey y'all, I mean, it's all right. Gang gang. Gang gang. <laughs> we made it to the ice skating place, but not one Negro here. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm here for a good I am too. I mean, I see that. But goddamn. <laughs> they gonna they go swat out. Here's what it looks like though. It's really pretty, but at the same, I think they're cleaning the ice right now. We just went to get our shoes Look, and. I where? Hi well, there. They, they oh, okay. I see. 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 <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I see. Yeah. Yeah. This is giving me PTSD. For what? Because I saw this clip of like recently, like a month ago. Um, this ice hockey player who has a history of like being aggressive literally kicked a in his yes. throat and he died, I bro. Saw that I was like, what? Like, he needs to go to jail. I hope he <laughs> They're did. not gonna put him in jail, bro. I'm scared. What about Buster? We just, we just gonna laugh about it and, and keep it pushing, okay? Yeah. So I feel it's like that. Elise keeps leaving me. Like, bro, don't give me that face. <laughs> don't give me that face. <sighs> 
She over it. <laughs> you? Oh, me? <laughs> yeah. I'm exercising right now. Nice. Nice. You feel me? I'm able to move, but I need to be able to like not touch the rail and and not fall and die at the same time. <laughs> okay. Stop. We're making progress though. I haven't fell yet. We almost made the first lap. It's so pretty out here though. Uh, uh, that's <laughs> Just walk, bro. Just walk. Oh my god. That five girl can skate. Man, they be knowing. Right? Okay. Period. Um. I just know if I fall, I'm not getting it. Huh. Bro, you better get your ass up. <laughs> Watch, I'm gonna learn how to spin by the end of this. Okay, Alice. Okay, Alice. <laughs> I'm trying to walk, but I'm not moving, bro. <laughs> Try. <laughs> I was not expecting all these things. Dang, is the roads flooding? Just a little bit. Man, my car hydro plane this morning. This scares me. Oh no. I'm driving slow. Already. And then we couldn't even get no food because everything was closed on here. Bruh, let me tell you, I was so mad because I went to my area to go to McDonald's. Why as soon as I pulled up at the McDonald's? It was 10.01. They said we just closed. I said, oh my gosh. I went to sleep hungry. I was so mad, bro. It's been a few days since we went ice skating and I decided not to really record on Christmas Day or the day after Christmas. So now it's currently December, what, 27th? Yeah, it's currently December 27th and I just came home from work and I showered and we settled down. I made sure to clean my room because literally the only thing that gets me through work is listening to podcasts. So currently I'm listening to this podcast called Date Yourself Instead. And it's a really good podcast. Like I think I started from the very beginning. I think I started from the one of the first few episodes, but I've just been listening to them in order. Like it started from I think 2021 and now like I made it through 2022. Now the podcast is like from episodes that released this year. And I'm sad because I might finish the whole podcast within the next few days. And I really don't want to because it's really the only thing that gets me through work. But this podcast is so good. Like it really teaches you like everything that she talks about is literally called dating yourself instead. So of course she talks about like relationships and stuff. But I think that most of the stuff she talks about i already kind of do like as far as you know detachment or moving on from relationships and stuff or like situationships and what to put up with what not to put up with so like i kind of already i look oily okay i'm moisturized but i kind of already have an idea of like what to do as far as relationships i'm more so just listening to it just to like it's just something to listen to but she also talks about stuff like manifestation and like building confidence like knowing your worth and stuff so i love listening to her talking about the other things outside of like a relationship and so one time she talked about like her first like psychedelics like shrooms experience and i really liked that episode because i had tried shrooms before but like it i didn't have a high enough dosage so it didn't really work but another episode that I listened to I think today was like manifestation and like how to manifest the episode was how to manifest a relationship but I'm not worried about that right now okay I'm I'm good I really need to just focus on get my life together so it's more so you can manifest anything like she said you can do anything when you manifest and I think that's what I want to do tonight like I definitely want to manifest because I feel like 
yes, like I have enough confidence in myself and I know exactly what I want to do with my life. But at the same time, I feel like I'm not really speaking it into existence. Like I need to actually like speak it to existence. And I think a method that she said that she uses most of the time or all of the time that has worked every single time, not immediately, but like it ended up working eventually was she would write a letter to the universe. And so I think that I'm going to go ahead and write a letter to the universe because even though I'm not really spiritual, I'm more of a universe girly than a God girly. So we're gonna go ahead and write a letter to the universe. I'm not really gonna read it to you guys, but more so just like tell y'all like what I did because I think that it's, I guess, personal to me and you know, it's just one of those things that you keep to yourself. Yeah, I just have so much confidence and I guess that's the only word I have for it. But like, I just have so much, so much confidence in the life that I want and like creating the life that I want for myself because I don't know, I don't see anything besides what I envision in my head. Like I have never seen myself like doing regular things i guess you could say i've always seen myself doing anything but that i also forgot that i had this notebook inside of my trunk as well and this notebook me and this notebook have history but not really so i would usually write down goals and stuff inside of this notebook and i would nine times out of ten i would not follow through like a to-do list this is the notebook where i would write down all of my goals planning how I was gonna do it and then me just never like falling through and me just like never you know doing what I have to do and I would like everything would have to do with like posting a YouTube video posting on my log page posting on like everything um I even used to write down like it would it wouldn't even be a prayer it would just be like a I guess it was another form of manifestation, I guess, because, like, I would always write something down and, like, set goals for myself. Like, literally, this is April 2020. I'm not going to, um, I don't have those now, but this was from April 21st, 2021. Like, in the very first thing, like, written in this notebook is from September 26, 2020. So I really was out here writing down goals like oh my gosh this says 2024 apartment goals it's 2024 next week so we're gonna see if i'm able to meet this goal i even had like body goals <laughs> written in here like i had i just like this is really the journal that or not the journal but like the notebook where I would write all of my goals inside of and like every page after this is definitely going to be like manifestations and just like writing down my goals which is what I've always been doing that's why I've always felt like everything always worked out in my favor because like I really could have ended up homeless or like I really could have like not had as big of a following as I do and I always wondered how I got so lucky when I reached milestones, but really though, maybe it's pretty much just like from manifesting and like being confident in myself and knowing that I am going to reach these goals, like no doubt about it. So these goals that I'm about to write down and like the manifesting, the life that I want, it's going to happen because I said so. Okay, so I just finished my letter and she said, the girl, what's her name again? I forgot. Yeah, so she said write it in like the future tense, I guess. If, is that a thing? Future tense? I don't know. As if it's already happened. So the first sentence that I wrote was, thank you for giving me, well, dear universe, thank you for giving me the life that I have been dreaming of. So whatever that you, whatever it is that you want, write it as it thanking the universe for as if it's already happened and that's what I pretty much did I wrote 
pretty much thank you for and then everything that I want to happen to me in the future. And then of course from Lanise, she said after you write the letters, you can just go ahead and just put it away and then pretend like move on with your life. And usually when you pretty much like leave it alone and move on with your life, eventually it's gonna happen. I do not feel like being out right now. Oh my gosh. It's cold as hell out here. I'm going to go pick up this wig. They delivered it last night, but I was not. Alright, now a boogie. Got my package. This is a wig. I don't know which company this wig is from at this point. Because I have three different wigs. Damn, Rimmel. I got three different wigs that I did need to do videos for, but I'm going to wait until Monday to do all of it. No, not Monday, Sunday. Today is what, Friday? Yeah, I'm gonna wait until Sunday to do all of those just because, you know, your girl, <laughs> girl got things to do. You know, I said I was gonna start editing that video. I have not started yet. I, I just didn't, but it shall still, damn. Hey y'all, I am currently headed to hang out with my friends. We're doing a karaoke night thing um, for our friend Samaya's birthday. My shoes are in the back, right? Shit. Okay, they are. Okay. But yeah, we're having a karaoke night. Um, I think it starts at like 5.30, maybe 6 o'clock. I don't know. But I think that we're going to pregame first. So I made sure to buy some shots after work. Oh, I did leave work early because I wanted to actually like go to the thing. So I left work early and then I rushed to do my makeup. I didn't even listen to any YouTube or anything do my makeup. That's how you know I was really in the rush. Um, I only have 40, mi 40 minutes to do a full beat and get my and put my clothes on. So regardless like it still took a little bit longer i left at 505 i wanted to leave the house at five o'clock so i was only five minutes late but it's okay i'm only gonna be like 10 minutes late from when elise told me like we should meet at this place or whatever i'm excited so i will see you guys there no i'm nervous no i'm nervous. girl just go ahead <laughs> This, this oh, I, like I guess no copyright. I don't know. Oh, why not? Who is the girl? <laughs> 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 